This is class 10th employability skills code 402. We are talking about unit number 3 ICT skills. Computer care and maintenance. So this uh, computer, laptop or tablet, it is impo it's important to take care of them, to maintain them. The same way we take care of our belongings, our things, it may be your books, you always, you know, cover it, clothes, wash every day and iron it, furniture, clean it every day, gadgets, gadgets can be anything, you know, it can be from washing machine to fridge to small to big electronic devices. Now, this is very important to take care of your electronic devices. Why electronic devices you need to take care? It can be your computer, it can be your mobile, it can be your laptop. Because this electronic device consists of a lot of machinery, very minute machinery. We, we shouldn't call it machinery basically. These are say uh, electronics, you know, soldering, like all these, diotriod, etc. The way we take care of our body, we take bath every day, brush teeth, eat food twice or thrice a day. The same way we are doing this for our body, the body of a laptop or a computer has to be taken care. We have to take care of these devices also. Because the computer is a very delicate machine. As I said, it has lot of capacitor, diode, triode, wiring, you know, all these. And there are so many moving electronic parts. The way we, you know, service our car because it has electromechanical parts. We have fan. It's always working. We have fan inside our computer. So we need to protect it from the dust and all kinds of damage. Any kind of physical damage, dust is, is the adversary of any kind of computing devices. So computer and mobiles, you see today, if you go for a good mobile, it you know, normally ranges from say 20,000 rupees to, to 50,000 rupees. Okay, you convert it into dollars. Basically, you, you are buying computers and mobiles, they are quite ex expensive. Because they have very good computing power today. But the thing is, if you buy it today and it doesn't work after three months or six months, you have to spend this amount again. So why not to get rid of this situation? The only way is to take good care of these computer and mobile devices on a regular basis. Right? For example, your battery, maybe you're working for two years. Why not to take care so that your system, your battery works for three to four years. You can use it for longer time, save money. What are the basic idea, tips, steps for taking care of your computing devices? There are very simple ways. These are very simple ways can be done every time, everywhere. So any computing device, it can be a mobile, laptop, tablet, any of these. You have to keep your device clean. First thing is to keep your device clean. That is the dust is the adversary, you know, the dushman of your device. You have various peripheral devices and inside also computer you have so many things. Screen, keyboard, mouse, all these are peripheral devices. So first thing first is input. Keyboard is important. We always keep our keyboard and always, you know, have our food, drinks there only. So keyboard has a lot of space inside it. The crumbs, we are eating say biscuit or say bread. These small crumbs of food, it goes inside it and it damages the internal part of your keyboard. So we need to clean a keyboard. Use a soft brush. Because all these crumbs and dust particles, by the time it develops, you will not be able to know that it has actually hurted your keyboard. 
So use a very soft brush like this if you see here or either you can take a very very you know cotton light cloth you can also use a cloth but your hand should be very uh, the cloth should be very gentle very light on this keyboard so you need to remove these crumbs dust particles or any other foreign material which is not required here coming to screen screen mostly it uh, you don't touch screen that often but even if you touch it and the dust uh, is already always there so best way is to clean using an ultra soft cloth cotton cloth you can remove any finger mark don't put any kind of say liquid there are special liquid which are which are there you can put it on but otherwise the screen has uh, on the background it has electronic uh, circuitry so it can damage it you can use always use the the liquid on your cloth and then then uh, do the cleaning right now be careful about food and drink see here the the women that particular thing the coffee is is a uh, in a spill on the right hand side if it does if it happens on the electronic device what will happen it won't work electronic device if your mobile electronic device is subjected to or contracted by any kind of water or moisture it will be beyond repair let me tell you liquid split it will be beyond repair you cannot do anything because the motherboard the electronic circuitry all will die and that will be beyond repair you will not be able to fix it that i can tell you so just take, take very small step keep your coffee keep your food away from it while working just work while eating just eat don't mix these two together handle your device very carefully the way you handle everything else which belongs to you this laptop is containing all your data all there are people who are earning from this laptop this mobile this tablet this computing devices this is your some of the people have occupation so avoid dropping it keep it close to your heart don't bang it on a hard surface even inadvertently even a shortfall can damage your your screen or hard disk or different parts of your computing devices so always take a bag there are you know pitu bag that is the bag bag backpack that has some cover that have cushion inside so there are certain padded cases available always use while going from one place to another or keep it keep your laptop padded all the time because you need to protect it damage while in motion while you're moving somewhere you will you will not be worried about you know losing your laptop you'll be worried about your losing your data computer is now our life these devices are now our life the next thing is keep your computing device cool in a computer there is microprocessor all the processing is done here this is the brain you have to give fan cooling to this microprocessor and because this heat is propagated okay it's all all there in your computer you have to have a cool environment why 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 do you think we have a fan in your computer because your mobile dv device or your laptop tablet gets overheated when it gets overheated the internal part can be damaged so the cpu needs a fan all the time there is a proper fan see here the the, the gentleman this this picture shows that it's so hot now you can you can uh, even fry your chicken here okay so this is not only about microprocessor because microprocessor is inside your computer so there are all the parts which also get heated so you have to keep a proper ventilation and a cool device make it cool see previously when the computer came all the computer were kept in ac air condition now the technologies have changed they are now creating less heat but still there is no other there is no way you can get rid of heat 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 will always be there whenever there will be a computing device don't use while uh, sitting on in sun 
uh, no don't use in a closed car and see here this gentlewoman is sitting on a bed now there is a you know cloth there this might be covering the laptop fan or heating which is coming coming outside so this these are the vents which are being there which are there just for that and if you cover it finally the microprocessor will get overheated and it will burn if the fan is not working i am going to tell you the process will bu processor will burn that is that is uh, i have already checked it so always see that there is proper ventilation and fan working all the time do not overcharge your battery now we people we have a tendency sometimes we are disciplined and we always want that 100% battery should be there you know if you go somewhere 100% battery that is always advisable but when it is already 98% why you need to plug it your laptop is 100% charge why you need to plug it it this device is made on the battery just because because it has to work in a, on a battery the battery has to be only you know kept put inside a jack when it is it has to charge not all the time because it will overheat the battery it the energy the heat produce because you know battery lithium ion there are so many batteries type it will reduce the battery life for sure normally battery would run for 1.5 to 2 years if you always plug it in you know this will run for this one but if you don't plug it it will go for 3 years 2 to 3 years always unplug when your device is saying i am done i am charged to 100% don't overcharge your battery next thing is always plug in device carefully we are always in hurry and we have power in our hand we use it wherever it is possible so in on a laptop or a tablet or computing device you always have this this usb port we have firewire port we have rj45 port there are so many ports here the sound jack but what we do we just you know all our energy we use here even if it is not going we just force it inside the port if it is not going you must change the direction because this is an electronic part and if you try to wrestle with it it will by the time or in a short time it will break and again that is not fixable or it will cost you huge money so just use you know plug in very gently very easily very very carefully okay because these devices are not meant for power to show power plugging has to be so smooth that even the computer doesn't know that you have plugged something inside do not run too many programs at the same time so we are very bright people we are watching movie we are have do downloading something on the background we are we have uh, some auditing or editing is doing done using filmora or say some you know audacity and uh, some chat box is also open we are chatting also so we think oh we are so great we are we are doing multitasking but that is that is not good that is not advisable do what you can do at one time because all these application are using resources of your computer they are using resourcing resources power microprocessor ram all these things are being used and there will be overheating the computer will become slow they will crash what will happen if you run a car on always use a brake and the the tire will uh, will be depleted same thing here elect these uh, electronic devices are not invincible so always run program for which is required you can close other programs also let me give you an insight here whenever you want to run a program it goes to ram ram is limited it's a semiconductor device and then ram will then cpu will take con content from ram and the cache the 2 gb 4 gb ram even we have this you know gaming systems these gaming systems 3d gaming systems they also th th though we have the gpus graphic processing unit but these are also producing heat 
they are also depleting your resources they are also making wear and tear on your electronic devices so why not to run a program which you are you, you are working on why it to run so many programs at the same time it's going to hurt your computer in later course of time finally what you'll do the same thing this gentleman is doing i'm sure that's not a dustbin right okay so just uh, work gently to maintain any computing device we have to have a schedule for example a car you will maintain it you will do the service 6 to 8 months similarly this computing device also whether it is a computer or a laptop or a palm top tablet or any other you know any device or electronic device we need it to run perfectly for a long time for that we need to have a proper plan and schedule for the maintenance we want it to run for a longer time so what do we do how do we plan it first thing to know about is a maintenance is of two types preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance preventive maintenance if something can happen stop it beforehand that is if the dust is a adversity to your computer try to clean it before or make the surrounding so that dust comes lesser and corrective means if something has happened how to come out of that situation how to repair it so first we'll start with the day day wise so every day you wake up you do your daily activities similarly daily you, what you have to do is you have to clean up your email inbox email is what every one of us uses everyone so we get number of number of uh, email and if you have any email that has an attachment which is important just save it coming to a week weekly maintenance so 7 days or 10 days what maintenance you have to uh, perform you have to clean your keyboard keyboard or i can i can tell you or let me suggest you all the parts of the computer which are possible monitor cleaning keyboard cleaning mouse cleaning cpu printer if it is possible that you can you can clean the cpu not always possible with everyone the printer because print, printers they are electromechanical they are you know peripheral devices and you know small dust or any kind of activity can hamper the workability in a computer or any mo mobile the data is very important so the important thing is to back up your data how to back up your data why to back up back up your data you can you can transfer it to an external drive because if you lose data what is the what is the use of that laptop and because this is a computing device it is going to be malfunctioning malfunctioning sometime it will be so better is to always have a backup and then you can retrieve it any time some disaster or some malfunctioning happens when we talk about monthly maintenance that is in 30 days what you have to do is you might be having a lot of photographs just it can be and the documents if it is personal it is official transfer it means don't just fill your drive organize photos into your folders and albums then you have a download folder temporary folder or temporary internet file folder there are so many folders in your in your computer in your operating system so clean up this download folder clean up your this uh, temporary file internet file and even uh, your recycle bin the recycle bin is like the you know waste bag in your in your house what do you do uh, you don't fill it up you can you need to clean it every day or every second day in your house similarly if you have 10 gb and you have clean, you have deleted 2 gb still 10 gb will be seen until you delete it from recycle bin it will not be shown as 8 gb so what programs and application you are not using you are not using at all maybe you have you know installed it for some time for some use uninstall it clean it there are disk cleaner software 
try to run this disk cleaner software because the disk need to be as less as least overloaded as possible you have to ensure that and run full system virus scan because virus is very dangerous to your data to your computer to your internet to to your network so there are so many antiviruses there so we have spams you know there are so many things so it is advisable to clean your system what you would do in an on an yearly basis that is we call as annual maintenance so you have contact list this contact list can be your phone this contact list can be your email all these contact lists you know now that you have you have not been using or you won't use it for a, for a long time in operating system what happens you have bugs there are problems and in due course of time people try to find out or the, that this is the problem in your operating system or some some uh, so fix fix has been done so how do you how do you install that fix those operating system when people when they do you have to update your operating system so whenever there is an there is an update coming the first thing you have to do is update your operating system and operating system updation along with the antivirus software renewal i am because people are taking it for 3 years you know but the thing is sometimes you just have for one year and some sometimes you are getting explanation or some notice that please renew it renew it or you just ignoring it no you have to update you have to renew your antivirus and as as i was talking about backup data let us let us see that what do you do when you have one thing what is backing up see morning just take an example of morning you have toothbrush i am sure you will not have two one toothbrush you will have at least two two toothbrush because sometimes you don't find it sometimes it's not working or whatever you will be having some redundancy some duplicacy means anything you have like your footwear i i'm sure that you won't have one footwear you will have at least two so whenever we are talking about data which is so important in the in the, in the form of information so people don't have multiple laptop normally the normal human being will have one laptop or one computing device or mobile so if something happens to this computing device what will happen to your data you have not kept it somewhere else so in order to get that data back any computing device you can have an external drive you can have an external drive it can be a cd cd dvd it can be some pen drive also pen drives are also you know huge uh, size today keep that data back up your data uh, regularly if something bad happens you can retrieve this data you can get back this data so you will not be losing your work so data bay backup is important so that you can recover in case of any kind of disaster either it be human made or man made because computer can crash you and me are humans we can make mistake and if we some commands may you may run or delete inadvertently but some natural disasters can happen floor floods and whatever some uh, earthquake so when we are talking about big companies big hospitals big banks they need to keep their information safe secure and redundancy should be there duplicacy should be there for example if you are running a business say sbi bank and there is a mumbai data center and the all the data is kept here now there is some you know flash flash rain or whatever then what will happen to the customer if the data center is affected what about the people they what amount they have what is the fd what all these transactions will be hampered so it is always required that the sbi bank should have data center should they have backup in bangalore in chennai even in tripura so if something of uh, in something bad happens it is always there should be a possibility that you are able to recover it 
so backup and recovery is so important that you will not realize right now because most of the businesses they run on this and they ensure backing up the data you should also do that right so this is a important uh, thing to do viruses viruses for example some corona is there some viral is there what what will happen to your body you will get sick you will get ill you will have to go to the doctor so similarly computer the computing device also gets sick ill by whom by what by the viruses so the all the softwares and the apps are basically programs they are written in c c++ java some php or c sharp python so these are the programs but if you if you understand like this a policeman what it will do it will catch a burglar so if the burglar is not there there will be no police so police is anti virus the burglar is a virus right so we need because there are people who are who are not good people they have bad intentions they have malicious intention they want unauthorized extract they want to extract money they want to do all bad for them we need anti virus we need to clean our if if any virus is there first we have to have a first line of defense it should not come and if even if it, this virus has come we need to have anti virus to clean them up clean them up right like we have policemen to catch the thief similarly we have anti virus as the policeman who is going to catch this viruses viruses even if the thief enters and somebody calls calls 911 or 100 then we need to catch that virus and quarantine it or all together delete it that is what anti viruses do so just see that there are so many anti viruses there are so many good companies you can have any of them and try see there are different type of uh, anti viruses one is for your system one is for your internet one is for spam so there are so many versions of anti virus so i will advise you to take the total security all the kind of security that as possible any threat any kind of protection that can be controlled that can be that can be dealt by this anti virus software total security you should uh, you should have for at least 3 years so what will happen sometimes you will feel i am not uh, i am not uh, energetic so you will take a red bull or any other energy drink similarly computer also loses performance why loses performance why it get why it became becomes lethargic because when we are using a computer for a long time it is filled by lot of unnecessary files and data that is temporary files images data so many things are due course of time they are filled in your computer in filled in your drives so because of this they are taking so many so much space the performance of computer goes down because the computer is working on your application also and all these temporary files and images also so the performance of computer goes down so now it becomes very important that you clean all these extra files that is the files which are of not use you can also use a disk clean up software so if you want a good compu computing service that is if you want your computing device to provide all good services to you the best thing is to clean these drives clean your system as you you have got when you purchased it don't fill it don't don't uh, fill your drives with enormous data make your habit to clean disk clean up every 15 days or every month do this maintenance activity removing spam from your computer i'll give an example so there is a person who has come out and it's going to rain now he knows that it is going to rain and suddenly a person appears and he says i have a i have this uh, umbrella if do you want to buy it he become the first person becomes happy 
he will just take that umbrella for whatever cost but if this person he has come out with the umbrella and the person who he wants to send this umbrella approaches and says again and again please take this umbrella please take this umbrella and the first person is saying i already have a have an umbrella i don't want it so now the other person who is trying to sell the umbrella is a spam so in your email you will see there are so many emails coming from different ad ad advertising company production companies and you don't need them you don't want that for example you might be getting email from uganda king and kenya king and they say uk i have this much money to do this that do that and you know i can give you billions of dollars you know that is a fraud you don't know you don't want that email because you don't want to consume everything what is fed fed to you on internet so there are so many companies advertising a product trying to attract you to through their website or sending emails these emails these kind of attraction unwanted attraction is spam okay you might be if if you are somebody is calling on your phone you can just cut down that phone or block it similarly that kind of thing on email can be done using spam folder so all the emails can be put or marked as spam you won't be able you will not be able to see or you will not be dealing with that that email again because it will always go into spam so this is always possible to set filters in the setting in order to prevent stop this uh, these are uh, all mailbox mail box filling so it will directly go to spam they are email software they know what to do so they will put them in this spam folder they will automatically put all such emails that you have marked as spam in this spam folder sometimes you know you have to remember sometimes somebody emails you and you are not getting it sometimes it may go to spam so you have to check it so there is this spam is different and a trash or a recycle bin is different let us see the question and answer these are the answers from your test books test book only what happens if you leave a device plugged in even after it is charged 100% so when the device is already 100% charged why would you want to plug it tell me if you are already you have already eaten till your neck somebody offers you the best food would you be able to eat no no because you are already full you are sumptuous so similarly this this can be you know we can have an analogy here that when your device is already 100% and this device is meant to work on battery so it can overheat see is the answer how can an anti virus protect your device viruses are those those programs specially meant or written to harm you to harm your computer to harm your data so how can antivirus protect how this antivirus protect your device so for that the answer is it prevents data from getting corrupt why it is corrupt everything what you do on your system is maybe you are earning from it and that has to be secured that can be only done through antivirus third is which option is not required to keep a device cool so in in a computing device there are so many circuitries and the circuits the motherboard the microprocessor they produce lot of heat and they will there is there is a you know propagative effect they will the heat can affect the other parts also it is always advisable to keep keep your device cool the answer is, the question is asking not required so don't cover your laptop with the blanket because there are vents which uh, which are specially made for the hot hot air to go out to be flushed out make sure computer cpu fan is working because if cpu is fan is not working your cpu is going to die it will burn avoid leaving that device in the sun even even if you are in a it's it's, it's hot sunny day and you're still taking your laptop there no so the answer is keep the device unplugged when in use this is the a answer which is fourth one now which of the following is essential for maintaining keyboard the keyboard is for input so why it is essential to maintain your keyboard to 
टेक केयर ऑफ योर की बोर्ड द आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दिस जस्ट यू नो टर्न इट अपसाइड डाउन एंड जेंटली गिव इट अ टैप सो ऑल दी यू नो क्रम्स एंड मटेरियल विल कम आउट If you are having blower, then you can just blow the dust out, and you can use uh, some uh, cleaning agent, but don't use directly on the keyboard. Do use it on a cotton, very soft cloth, and then it should be non-abrasive. So then you can clean it gently, not very hard. So all of the above is the answer. Subjective question: Explain how to clean a computer on a daily basis. so we have discussed all this in this chapter so let us see one more time clean your keyboard soft brush use clean your screen with soft cloth don't eat food or drinks near your computer handle your device carefully don't drop it don't you know bang it somewhere on a hard surface keep the computer cool always use ac if possible do not overcharge the battery because this is designed to work on battery don't uh, wrestle wrestle with your uh, putting your jacks in your device like uh, usb and others do not run so many too many programs at a time how can you increase the performance of a computer there are so many ways you can increase the performance sometimes when you see your computer has come for the first time you love that computer because it's running so fast but one after one year you see it it has lost its luster the charm because you need to uninstall unnecessary software you have to limit the programs at startup there are so many programs at startup so it take times add more ram to your pc but you cannot endlessly uh, add it check for any kind of viruses worms spyware use this disk cleanup and defragmentation defragmentation is basically the the available memory is scattered so you have to combine them so there are softwares which are doing big fragmentation consider a startup ssd this this is also one of the possibilities okay this is all about this discussion thank you so much and take care of yourself